This netcast is brought to you by Deerswood, the Excel experts, helping you get the most out of Excel. Okay, the, um, I've been asked a question in terms of how do we reverse the order of a particular list. So we have a list here, apple, pear, banana, orange, and we want that to appear the other way around, orange, banana, pear, apple. We're going to use the index function to do that, um, because what that allows us to do is to pick a... Um, a numbered item from a list um, but clearly what we need to do is to, is to come up with a numbering series of 4, 3, 2, 1 so we can actually get the right value. So the first thing we're going to use is you can use the count a function to find the I'm going to press F4 to, to get that um, that locked range. So if we use count A, we know we've got four, so there's four items in the list. Uh, so if we copy that down, but we want four, three, two, one. So what we're going to do then is we're going to minus the row and that becomes that. So we have got a, a, a set of numbers that, uh, a sequence of numbers that goes down by one. But what we then need to do is to add back the first row. So we're going to find the row of the first item in that sequence. So then we've got 4, 3, 2, 1. So then if we use index of that particular range, F4 to lock the range, and then we're going to use that cell reference, you can see perfect we get exactly the reverse list. So that's that's great. Um, so we were successfully able to reverse the order of the uh, of the list using uh, um, uh, cell references. If we want to do that with uh, a named range, uh, if we just define the name as uh, fruit range, then we can we can get this same kind of ordering using references to the fruit range. So the first one, let's just see if we put the row of the fruit range. That actually brings back the first um, the first row, uh, which is something that we uh, we used here, which is plus row B3. So we we can then use use the same formula: count a uh, fruit range minus row current row uh, minus fruit oh, plus fruit range. And you can see that we can do that there. Okay, that that's good. So we can know we can do it with uh, ranges. So the final way I want to do that is to use um, a table. Uh, define this as a table um, because that has a distinct advantage in terms of how the uh, formulas work. So if we just say table, and then we're going to call this fruit table. Okay. So if we if we now look at um, the row of fruit table and we we look at the row of the headers we see that it's 2 and um, to get the 3 we're going to need to plus 1 on that so if we use the same formula now, which will be the um, count a of fruit uh, fruit table minus row plus again, we can see we have the right right set of numbers to use on the index. So if we now add strawberries and raspberries. and we just extend the formulas the two that have worked uh, is using the table names and the named range let's have a look at that named range that's uh, interesting uh, if we look at the name manager uh, the yes indeed the fruit range and the fruit table have both been expanded uh, to uh, to take into account that extra cell. So, um, three, three different ways to reverse the order of a list. Find us at deerswood.co.uk, helping you get the most out of Excel.